Balloon Festival here in Vernon. Tell us a little bit about the uh, Hot Air Balloon Festival. Well, it's uh, been running now 21 years consecutively. It started 21 years ago. Uh, it was the brainchild of uh, local balloonists who lived in Winfield. And uh, one uh, lady who was the executive director of Vernon Winter Carnival Society wanted something a little different for the carnival. So a balloon event was planned. And uh, the first year, I believe we had 50 balloons. We had a lot. And uh, we also had a lot of snow. Lots of snow. But it's it's slowly moved along, and it's 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 moved along now uh, to its 21st year. So, it's uh, it's the opening of, of a carnival first weekend, always coordinated with the uh, well at least with the, the parade, and um, we've been uh, continuing, and uh, we've got the support of the community to keep going into the future by the time. this year and where they hail from? Ten balloons. Uh, most of the balloons are from Alberta. Uh, I believe eight of them. Two from BC, myself being one, and a fellow from Kelowna. So uh, this is the smallest year we've had in a while, uh, but that's all right. You know, we'll, we'll be back up. We usually like around 15 balloons. We find that is a good number. And uh, actually, two years ago, we had 25, so we just like the 15. Works out better. And what kind of competition do you uh, do you well, normally what we do here, because we're in the valley, it's kind of hard to do what we'd call a normal competition. So what we end up doing is what we call a hare and hound, where I'm always the hare, and I, uh, I take off first, and then after a period of time, all the rest of the balloons take off and try to get to where I am. And uh, it can be challenging in this valley. Always is. What do people, what do uh, people attending the festival get out of seeing hotter balloons? What's it like, especially for children or for people who've never seen balloons? What's it like? Well, it's, you know, it's it's a point of excitement, certainly for children. I mean, I mean, balloons and children, I mean, whether it's toy balloons or real big balloons like we have, I mean, uh, you know, they're always fun. And, and, and so what we have is we have a glow every uh, Friday uh, to start off the festival, usually down at Polson Park now, which is a lovely location, and uh, they can actually see the balloons up close. And uh, we do what's called the night glow, so we're actually and illuminating the balloons with our burners to uh, light them up from inside. Tell me a little bit more about the night Where did that start? Is that something else? That start, that's always sort of been there. I mean, it's it started a long time ago in the States, and it's just been picked up by the other organizations. Because unfortunately, balloons take off in one spot, then they leave, and they don't come back. Uh, and so this way, you can have the balloons there for an extended period of time, where people have more uh, contact and take pictures and enjoy that more. So it's quite a visual experience. It is, very much so. What's your favorite part of the winter carnival here? Uh, for me personally, well, obviously, it's the balloon event. Uh, it, it's uh, I enjoy doing it. It's a uh, it's 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 always fun to come out. Um, I will be a resident eventually here in the next little while, and it's just something that uh, it's nice to have a community that's continued on this long, you know, and and everybody enjoys it. Terrific. Any other points? Uh, not at all. I mean, uh, we always use volunteers from the local area. They end up curing for us. I mean, ballooning is a very social sport, and uh, that kind of thing helps to uh, keep everything alive. We have people who've been here since day one, and then we get new people every year. So it's just getting people excited about the sport and the fun of ballooning. What about next year? Next year, we'll uh, hopefully we'll get winter. That's one thing we've been sort of missing the last few years is a real winter and winter carnival. But uh, we'll be back again next year uh, with the first weekend, and uh, we'll be doing it again. And uh, we'll always look for volunteers and people who want to come out and help and have fun.